Assalamu alaikum, this is Zainab Muslim and I will be explaining Documents 5 of Chapter 7, the Specific Humoral Immune Response. Knowing that previous documents of this chapter have discussed the first two phases of the humoral immune response, induction and activation, this video is going to explain the last phase, which is the effector phase. Let's together recall the induction phase. Upon the infection with a pathogen, the macrophage engulfs this pathogen and digests it into small antigens. Those antigens are represented on the cell membrane of this macrophage attached to MHC class 2 molecule. This process is antigen presentation and the cell is now called the antigen presenting cell. This antigen presenting cell migrates to the nearest lymph node where it is recognized by a specific T helper cell. This T helper cell attaches to the APC and gets activated by a certain chemical. And now that the activation phase started, the activated T helper cells proliferate, giving rise to a clone of T helper cells that share the same T cell receptors. Some of those T helper cells will differentiate into interleukin secreting cells. They will recognize and bind a specific B lymphocyte. T helper cell will secrete interleukin 4, which will stimulate the clonal expansion and differentiation of B lymphocytes. And this is when the effector phase starts. Some B cells become memory cells, and others differentiate into plasma cells, which are highly specialized cells equipped with the machinery of protein synthesis needed for antibody production. Those antibodies circulate lymph and blood and mainly contribute to the elimination of soluble toxins and extracellular pathogens. But how do antibodies work and how do they contribute to the elimination of pathogens? Well, some antibodies are neutralizing, that is, they inhibit the action of a toxin or a pathogen by binding to its active site. Let's take an example. Diphtheria toxin that is shown here in orange is a serious toxin that affects the different cells of the nervous system and causes their destruction. However, in the presence of antibodies, the molecules shown in blue here, this cellular destruction will stop. That is because antibodies will neutralize the toxin before attaching to their target cells. Refer to document A in your book to notice the difference in the action of the toxin shown in red on a target cell in the absence and presence of antibodies. And although antibodies are most effective against extracellular pathogens, those pathogens that do not infect cells, document B of your book shows that antibodies could neutralize intracellular pathogens as well just before entering their host cell. Some antibodies are opsonizing, that is, they facilitate the macrophage adherence to the pathogen and thus its phagocytosis. A phagocyte has cell receptors to which the constant region of some antibodies can bind. Those antibodies bind to epitopes of pathogens at their variable region at the same time, thus making a molecular bridge between the macrophage and their target. This is opsonization. The macrophage then engulfs the antibody-coated pathogen and digests it. You can refer to document C of your book to observe bacterial opsonization by antibodies. Now one more action of antibodies to be studied in this document is their activation of complement cascade. 
Antibodies sequentially activate a group of enzymes which leads to pore formation in the membrane of target cell. Once antibodies have bound antigens on the surface of a target cell, their constant region may bind to one of the complement proteins called C1. C1 activates in turn other components of the complement. The chain activation of the complement proteins is called the complement cascade. This complement cascade leads to the formation of the membrane pore, which eventually leads to cell lysis. Document D of your book shows the activation of the complement cascade by antibodies. Now keep in mind that some complement molecules amplify inflammatory reactions by attracting phagocytes to the site of infection. And now I'm pretty much sure that you will answer this.